Hello, my name is Ricardo Cadena with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about assigning the global IP address to a high availability median 3000 configuration using the EMS client. After assigning unique IP addresses to each TP6310 board in a high availability median 3000 chassis configuration, a global IP address is a sign that is used by the active board for all management, signaling, and media traffic. The global IP address must be different than the IP addresses assigned to each of the blades and must be assigned from the same subnet. We will demonstrate the assignment of the global IP address to an Avaya Release 2 Median 3000 using the EMS client. More specifically, a Release 6.2 EMS client via a Release 6.2 Element Management System server. The Avaya Release 2 Median 3000 designation does correspond to the Audio Codes Release 6.2 Median 3000 software. The individual TP6310 IP addresses were previously assigned using the Audio Codes Boot P server application. Once the gateway finishes booting after IP addresses have been assigned to the TP6310 boards, it may be accessed via the Slot 1 board IP address. You may immediately add the gateway to the EMS client. When reachable, gateway status does change. To add the media gateway, in the MG Tree section, alternate click or right click the region under which you want to add the gateway. Then select Add MG. In the MG Information window, enter an MG name. Then enter the Slot 1 IP address. Optionally, enter a description. We are not communicating to the gateway using IPsec and are using SNMPv2 with default community strings. When done adding gateway information, click OK. The gateway appears completely red until the slot 1 IP address is accessible. When reached, gateway status changes to show communication with the slot 1 trunk pack and slot 2 alarm status and synchronization board. To configure the global IP address, in the navigation pane, select VoIP, then Network. The network frame appears in the desktop options pane. Click Network Frame. The network parameters provisioning frame appears on the configuration desktop within the main pane. The desktop toolbar indicator changes to configuration. Select the IP interface settings tab. Click the add row button. Click yes when asked if you are sure you want to add a row. A new row appears in the IP interface table. The default settings for application types, interface mode, and VLAN ID are appropriate. You do need to enter the global IP address in the IP address field. Enter the appropriate subnet mask prefix in the prefix length field. Enter the router IP address in the gateway field. You may optionally enter an interface name. Click Save. Then click Apply. Click OK when informed that offline parameters have been modified and that a reset needs to be performed. The row status changes to unlocked. You may close the network parameters frame. Select the navigation desktop. To reset the media gateway so the global IP address administration is applied, Select Reset from the Actions bar. When asked if you are sure you want to reset the Median 3000, 
confirm the burn configuration into flash memory checkbox is selected, and click Yes. The results table appears. The item result should eventually show OK. Click Done. When the EMS is able to communicate with the gateway using the global IP address, you will see the media gateway status change to notify you that HA synchronization is in progress. You will see the primary TP and SA boards appear in the chassis. When HA synchronization is complete, the standby TP and SA boards appear and the high availability synchronization status message disappears. Though you may note that the EMS can communicate with the Median 3000 using IP interface settings without having changed MG Tree administration, official documentation does state that the gateway should be re added using the global IP address. To comply with this direction, remove the gateway by alternate clicking its name in the MG Tree and selecting Remove MG. Click Yes when asked if you are sure you want to remove the media gateway. After it has been removed, add the gateway using the original procedure followed, however this time enter the global IP address in the IP address field. The chassis again appears in the MG status pane. You will notice the information pane shows the global IP address. Documentation also states that the gateway and EMS configuration details should be synchronized. This is performed by uploading the configuration from the gateway. To complete this task, click Upload from the Actions bar. Click Yes when asked if you would like to continue uploading the configuration from the Median 3000 to the EMS database. The results table appears. The item result status will update to show the upload succeeded. Click Done. Assignment of the Median 3000 global IP address using the EMS client would now be considered complete. For additional information on using the EMS Client Graphical User Interface and Media Gateway Configuration, reference the Median 3000 Release 6.2 SIP Users Manual. Media Gateway documentation is contained on the Median 3000 Software and Documentation Disk or in the ISO available for download from plds.avaya.com. For detailed information on the EMS Client Graphical User Interface and Element Management System Server, reference the Element Management System Release 6.2 Users Manual. EMS documentation is contained on the Element Management System Software and Documentation Disk or in the ISO also available for download from plds.avaya.com. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avayamentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.